Hello and welcome back to my channel, CC Stardust Reads Children's Stories. If you're new, please subscribe, like and share. I'm going to be reading a bedtime story today. It's called 10 Minutes to Bed, Little Dinosaur by Rhiannon Fielding and Chris Chatterton. In a faraway land, across mountains and seas, where strange creatures live among tall jungle trees, there can often be heard a great echoing roar. Ten minutes to bed, little dinosaur! With three pointed horns and four great big feet, Rumble was crashing around in the heat. Nine minutes to bed, don't go far, warned his mum. But this little dinosaur loved to have fun. Deep in the jungle, a hullabaloo. Frogs hopped about as birds fluttered and flew. Eight minutes to bed, came the call loud and strong as Rumble the dinosaur thundered along. Splashing about in a warm pool of mud and chasing his tail till he fell with a thud. He knew there were just seven minutes to bed but Rumble preferred an adventure instead. Passing through mountains, he heard a strange sound. The world seemed to tremble from deep underground. He looked to the sky with six minutes to go and saw a volcano beginning to glow. From the sky came a roar. Rumble stumbled and ducked. Boom! The volcano began to erupt. Hot lava bubbled. The sky filled with ash. Rocks crumbled and fell to the ground with a crash. From out of the valley poured dinosaurs small. Dinosaurs heavy and dinosaurs tall. The ground below shook as they all hurtled past. Five minutes, they said, so you'd better run fast. As he ran, with his heart beating fast in his chest, Rumble finally saw a safe place he could rest. Four minutes to bed, but where am I, I wonder? From high in the sky, came a loud roll of thunder. Below a great mountain, where birds swoop and soar, lay Rumble, the littlest dinosaur. Three minutes to bed, said a voice from the gloom and a shadow appeared by the light of the moon. On four great big feet, she bent down to her son. Rumble opened his eyes and looked up at his mum. Two minutes, she said. You are never alone. Then at last, side by side, they both plodded back home. The evening was bathed in a soft silver light as his mum tucked him up and she kissed him goodnight. One minute to bed. That means no more exploring. But Rumble was already fast 
asleep snoring. The end. Oh, bless Rumble, that little dinosaur. I hope you are tucked up, ready for bed now. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. Bye-bye for now. See you next time.